Samsung is back in the headlines with its upcoming mid-range smartphone, the Galaxy A57, and we've just got the first major leak about its processor. Yes, the Exynos 1680 has surfaced, and it looks like it's going to power the next generation. Of Samsung's popular Galaxy A5X series, for those who follow Samsung's mid-range lineup, you probably already know the pattern. Every year, Samsung introduces a new Exynos chip specifically designed for its Galaxy A5X models. Earlier in 2024, we saw the launch of the Exynos 1580, which powered the Galaxy A56. Now, its successor, likely to be named the Exynos 1680, is already making waves thanks to a new report from the reliable folks over at Galaxy Club. So what do we know about this new chip? The Exynos 1680 carries the model number S5E8865, succeeding the Exynos 1580, which had the model number S5E8855. Based on Samsung's consistent naming strategy, it's safe to assume the upcoming chip will be marketed as the Exynos 1680. This processor is expected to debut with the Galaxy A57, likely in 2025. Now, let's talk about something even more exciting. The graphics capabilities. The new Exynos. 1680 is rumored to feature Samsung's in-house Xclipse 550 GPU, which could be based on AMD's RDNA 3.5 architecture. That's a huge leap forward for a mid-range chipset. To put that in perspective, the same architecture is expected in Samsung's flagship-grade Exynos 2500 with the Xclipse 950 GPU. While we don't yet have confirmed benchmark scores or detailed performance specs, the use of AMD's RDNA 3.5 architecture in a mid-range chip strongly suggests Samsung is trying to seriously up its game when it comes to graphics and gaming performance. Of course, we'll have to wait till late 2025 or early 2026 to see real-world performance results, but the early signs are very promising. Now that we've covered the chip, let's shift focus to the device that'll likely carry it. The Galaxy A57. This is the first report that even mentions the Galaxy A57, and while details are still scarce, we can get a pretty good idea of what to expect based on the Galaxy A56. The A56 featured the Exynos 1580, brought a better selfie camera, supported 10-bit Super HDR for both images and videos, had a sleeker, lighter design, and also upgraded its charging speed to 45 watt. So naturally, we can expect the A57 to build on those improvements. At the very least, it should bring noticeable performance gains thanks to the Exynos 1680 and its upgraded GPU. But performance alone won't be enough in 2025. Samsung will need to keep up with aggressive competition, especially from Chinese. Brands that are pushing boundaries even in the mid-range segment. One big area where Samsung must step up is in the camera department. More and more mid-range phones from brands like Xiaomi, Realme, and Vivo are offering 2X or even 3X optical, zoom via telephoto cameras. If Samsung wants to stay competitive, the Galaxy A57 should finally introduce a telephoto lens in the A5X lineup. Another wish list item? A bigger battery. While the A56 already offered respectable battery life, rumors suggest Samsung might pack a 6000 mAh battery into the A57. If true, this could be a game changer for users who prioritize battery life above everything else. Combine that with 45 watt fast charging, and you've got a phone that could last longer and charge quicker than most of its rivals. And there's more. Video capabilities are another area where the A57 could shine. We're hoping to see support for 4K at 60 frames per second, a feature that would bring flagship-level video quality to the mid-range segment. This would make the Galaxy A57 a great option not just for casual users, but also for content creators on a budget. To summarize, here's what we know and what we're hoping for. Exynos 1680 chipset. Model S5E8865 X Clips 550 GPU based on RDNA 3.5 architecture. Likely launching with the Galaxy A57 expected improvements in performance and graphics, possible upgrades. Telephoto camera 6000 mAh battery 4K 60 FPS video recording continuation of 45 watt. Charging. While it's still early days and many details are yet to be confirmed, Samsung's move to bring AMD's advanced GPU architecture into its mid-range chips shows the company is serious about closing the performance gap between its mid-range and flagship phones. As we move closer to 2025, expect more leaks and official.
Announcements about the Galaxy A57 and the Exynos 1680 will keep you updated on all the latest developments. So what do you think? Should Samsung finally add a telephoto camera to its A-series? Are you excited about the possibility of RDNA 3.5 graphics on a mid-range phone? Let us know in the comments. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more tech updates.